because I'm from Vermont. Um, growing up, I was raised in a good home. Um, I played a lot of sports. I went to college. Um, when I was in my 20s, there was a series of events that took place, and um, I just found myself filled with just a lot of anxiety and depression. And um, it was during that time that I had a boyfriend who introduced me to Oxycontin. Um, and I had tried it not realizing that one tiny pill would um, lead to an addiction that would control the next five years of my life. Um, this addiction eventually led me to seek more dangerous street drugs. I found myself in very abusive relationships. Um, I destroyed the relationships with my family. Um, and just towards the end of my addiction, I really just went absolutely crazy. Um, I became suicidal and I found myself um, crying out to God in a psych hospital is pretty much what it came down to. Um, I was put on a ton of different psychiatric medications. Um, doctors had told me that I would never get off of them. Um, one psychiatrist told my father that I should just go on disability because there really wasn't hope for my life. And that is what my life came down to. Um, I had no hope. And, um, you know, I didn't see the consequence of my actions at that point. And I um, just did a lot of just crazy things, drove under the influence a lot. I crashed my car into a guardrail on three different occasions. Um, the last time was last March, and um, I hit a guardrail going about 80 miles an hour, totaled my car, and um, God saved my life. And um, I, um, I don't really know exactly how I made it here, but I know that Romans 8.28 says that God works all things for the good for those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And, um, you know, that car accident, I was facing a lot of legal issues because of that. And um, those legal issues are why I originally came into this program. Um, and I had no idea that um, Jesus would grab hold of my heart the way he has. And I had no idea that I would fall in love with Jesus. And I would learn that um, my past doesn't define me, that I'm an eighth creation. And, um, you know... Jesus, God has proved those doctors wrong. I'm off every prescription oh, today. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. and, um, you know, I just remember, even since like, I was a kid, since I was like 13, I had just had so much anxiety. And, you know, I never thought I could even like live or socialize normally. And the word says that be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And, um, you know, I came in here and I've learned that I, what I need to do is um, be dependent on Jesus, be dependent on God, and seek Him the days that I'm having a difficult time. And He has proven Himself so faithful. Um, I had so yeah. many charges coming in here, and I had all seven of those charges dismissed. Um, God is restoring. <laughs> The relationship with um, my awesome. family. My father didn't want to really speak to me. I was arrested outside of his house um, last December, and I really didn't think that relationship was going to be restored, but God, God's restored that. My dad's like my best friend today. Um, I'm not really sure, you know, what God has for me, but he's definitely... Um, transform my mind, I can say that, and <laughs> he's transforming my life, I have a hope today, I'm excited for my future, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Um, I'm almost That's out right. of the program, and um, yeah, right. there is one scripture that got me through, um, and that's Isaiah 41.10, so do not fear, for I am with you, do not be dismayed, for I am your God, I give you strength, I bring I you help, you. I uphold you in the righteous right hand. Yeah.